in 97, we published one of the first sustainability reports. And since then, we've consistently been putting a lot of our data um, onto the website. We have a great website that shows people our progress on reducing our footprint and how we're changing our products. Um, and over the past 10 years, we've consistently done that. And we've realized that as we're 10 years away from 2020, what we really want to do is focus on those material impacts, the most important things that we can change to become a sustainable company. So this Milestones Progress Report highlights those most important things and talks about our challenges in getting to 2020. One of the biggest challenges we're facing as a company that makes products is how we're going to create and manufacture sustainable closed-loop products. And what that really means for us is making products that are made from recycled materials. So helping create a supply chain for recycled nylon and creating those products is really the biggest challenge. We're about 50% of the way to our 2020 goals and we've made major strides in reducing our footprint and things like reducing the amount of energy we use to make a product, reducing our water usage 80% since we started in 1996, 77% um, reduction in terms of the waste that's going into landfills. So we've made some really amazing progress that we'll be talking about in the report. What's so great about this is you can actually access the report online at our website, www.interfaceglobal.com forward slash sustainability. It lives right on our sustainability homepage. It's a really cool interactive experience where you can follow our journey up Mount Sustainability and look at how we're making progress to reduce footprint, how we're changing the culture of the company, and specific milestones that we've achieved in how we redesign and reshape our products. Um, so I think people who experience this will come away with a sense of not only what Interface has done, but what they can do at their company and how they could start on their own path to sustainability.